All right, welcome back to the channel. If you're just joining me for the first time, welcome. Today I got the uh, Smith & Wesson 916A shotgun out. This is the Riot version. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to break this down so that you can clean it, give it a good internal cleaning. Maybe if you need to replace a part on the inside, which I have had to do in the past. Um, so with that being said, let's get right to it. Tools you're gonna need for this job. I'd get a small rag or a towel, something like that. You're gonna need a small hammer. I do not have a brass or a rubber mallet. Those would probably be recommended because we're gonna be punching some pins out. 3 eighths punch. This one is not 3 eighths, but it works. So that's the one I'm gonna use. You are also going to need a flathead screwdriver with at least an 8 inch shank. I didn't have any. I had to order this one off of Amazon. Uh, I'll put the link in the description below if you want to check it out. But I didn't have one in my arsenal and I have several tools. But I didn't have one with that long of a shank. So this is what you're looking at. If you have an 8 inch screwdriver that has a really wide tip, this one is 3 eighths. Um, if you have one that's wider than this, then you're probably going to need two, and I'll tell you why. Uh, we're going to have to take two screws out of here, and if the head is too wide, it won't fit in the hole in the recoil pad. So you've got two screws here, and you've got one that holds the stock on. That's the reason for the 8-inch shank. There's a, a flathead screw in here that we got to get out. So um, first step, of course, is to make sure that the gun is unloaded. It is. I've got the action here. And in the magazine, I got the feeding tube. We are clear. So let's get started. I'm going to remove the two screws, which are flathead screws, inside of the recoil pad. I don't often film sequences like this with long guns. So I'm going to be moving the camera. To various points so righty tighty lefty loosey I'm gonna move the camera around to try to get the best shot and hopefully this all works out there's one there's the other you can see the recoil pad is moving again I'm gonna use the same screwdriver for all three of these and a little later on there's a couple other screws we got to get out it will work just fine. All right, recoil pad is free. I don't think that I'm going to be able to get a shot of this. Right there is your screw inside there. We got to reach that. So make sure that you uh, make sure that you kind of eyeball it so that you can see and not be in there twisting the screwdriver and miss the head of the screw. The, it's really a bolt. Stock is free. That's what your bolt looks like. So I was a little concerned that the screwdriver might be a little small to tackle that, but got it out just fine. So I'll set that aside. Set your stock aside. Okay, close your action. 
The next thing we got to get this pin out right here and this screw. This pin first, it's actually a 130 second punch. It's recommended for this. You want to take it out from the solid side of the frame. Now the reason for the rag is when we're hammering this thing back in, you put a little buffer there so that you don't mar the gun or anything. There we go. Pin's free. There's your pin. Let's get the screw out. Okay, next step, I'm going to remove the trigger assembly, pull it rearward out of the gun, and it's going to want to come straight down, but it won't fit out that way. There's your trigger assembly, set that aside, All right, and your cartridge cutoff is the next thing. Okay, the next step would be to remove the cartridge cutoff. That's this device here. So the way it actually sits, mine's just a little bit bowed. I don't know if it came that way or if it's supposed to be like that or not, but it sits in there just like this. Not like that, like it sits right there. So, but it should fall right out. If it doesn't fall out, then you can use a screwdriver handy dandy screwdriver and just pop it loose don't even really have to pop it it should just come right out so there's a, what that looks like it's going to sit inside the receiver just like that okay next step open your action the bolt gets a little hung because you get some pieces missing there there's a screw right there you can see it through the ejector port take that screw out That is your ejector. It may fall out. There we go. There it goes. And it sits in there. It sits in the gun just like that with that little metal flange right there. It sits just like that. Set that to the side. Okay, next step, you're gonna to wanna to move the pump forward until the extractor is approximately one quarter of an inch. This is your extractor right here, this metal extension. So the bolt assembly is about a quarter of an inch and see mine just fell out. The actual guidance is to take your screwdriver and press down on top. Because what you're trying to do the bolt is secured in here on, let me see. There's a little tab right here connected to the pump that secures, secures the bolt and moves it back and forth. So what we're essentially doing is lifting the bolt assembly, lifting like that, and it's gonna disengage, and you wanna disengage it from the pump. So, pull it back forward. See, it's pretty much fell out of there. I almost do it with my finger. All right. You feel it come loose. There it goes. Okay, it's loose. This is the part I was talking about that engages with the bolt and works the action. So we can now remove this little handlebar or slide piece, whatever it's called there. It'll come out. There's that. 
this little piece here is what grabs onto the uh, grabs onto the bolt and moves it. Let's set that aside. The bolt should just come straight out the back. So the extractor, there's two slots here. When you reinstall this, it rides along those tracks. And that's how it comes in and out. You can pull that out. There's your bolt. Now for a general field assembly and cleaning, you can go ahead and wipe this down, spray it down. You can actually unscrew this, pull the magazine spring out, and then this the magazine tube will be free to come out of the gun. Unscrew this nut right here, and the pump will come off. That's as far as I'm gonna go for this demonstration. Uh, maybe if you guys like this, if I get a lot of feedback from this, I'll do another one with that, that portion of it. But let's go ahead and start with the reassembly. Everything is just in the reverse order. So I'm gonna take our receiver, slide our bolt in there along those tracks. Reinstall your slide, and then here's the tricky part. We got to get that that little notch of the bolt back on there, sitting, so that it will work. So there it goes. It's on there. All right. Next, we're going to put the extractor back in with the screw. So I'm going to drop this piece down in there, line it up with the hole. Get the screw in there, tighten her down. All right, cartridge cut off, goes back inside. I have to try this a couple of times, I usually do. It doesn't sit underneath there. When I do the functions check, I'll know for sure that's certain. I guess it doesn't sit in there. Maybe it just sits flush, that little tab right there. Maybe it just sits on top of there. All right, get that in there. We'll put our trigger assembly back in. And close the action. I think I forgot that. Close the action. Put our trigger assembly back in. We're going to put our punch back in. Now, I've had to wiggle around with this thing to get that punch to sit back in there on the other side. The holes don't always line up, so sometimes I've had to put the screw back in first to get it to go all the way. And this is where your cloth comes in handy. Take a cloth, place it over the punch, and hammer it back down in there. I wouldn't hammer too hard. You don't want to warp that, so see, it's not going all the way in, so... I'm going to put the screw in first. And then try to get the pin in. Get your screw in. If you have a lot of trouble with this, maybe you should try to put it in from the other side. All right, I got it back in. I had to push down on the trigger assembly and close the action to get it in there. All right, so the fun part, put the stop back on, and then we're gonna get your screw back into the butt. All right, the gun is reassembled and here's our finished product. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching.